Hey there guys, so today we have another review and this is a beer courtesy of Mike, so thank you so much. He sent me an awesome box from Michigan and reviewing the first one. Uh, this is Ellison, which is a relatively new brewery. This is Dawn Street Pale Ale, about a year and a half old. They're in Lansing, Michigan, so I uh, haven't tried their beers yet. This is the first one of the bunch. Let's dig in. Uh, by the way, I've seen like a lot of Instagram posts with these like silly pours where they pour the liquid all the way up to here and it's brimming and it's just such a, I'll have to do a video about it, but this is how you want your beer to look. Come on, look, come on, look at that beer. Uh, let's get the aroma on this one. Oh, and even the aroma works because of this beautiful head. Mm. It's a little bit orangey. Uh, you get this kind of grass quality, some, yeah. Citrus, a little bit of juicy orange, not leaning towards really that much tropical, nice, nice crackery malt, maybe a little bit of melon quality. It smells very light. It, it doesn't jump out at, it to you, uh, at you with like tons of hop, hop, hop. Aroma is very hoppy for sure, but it's not very obviously juicy or leaning towards that pine or anything. This smells very clean and uh, inviting and refreshing. Cheers. By the way, this is 6.5% uh, pale ale. Mm. It jumps out a little bit more uh, for me. It actually has this nice kind of bitterness that rides on the beer for a pale ale, which is nice. And this is supposed to be a New England style. Reminds me a little bit of what Trillium does uh, with their, you know, early hopping of some Columbus to really, you know, give the beer some uh, bitter structure to it. And this one reminds me of that. It's both this grassiness and light earthy kind of quality. Um, you know, think of like going to Home Depot and getting those square slabs of grass that, you know, put on your lawn so you can grow your lawn or whatever you call it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. It, it is a soily earthiness that sort of sits offering this baseline kind of bitterness. Some nice fresh grass. Up front, you get a little bit more of that juicy quality. Not too intense. It's a little, you know, squeeze of orange instead of, you know, purely drinking orange juice. It was a nice crackery malt holding the beer up while being very light and refreshing. Um, there's a little bit of grainy quality lingering on and on and on as you are pushed on with that kind of earthy bitterness. It's just a nice, drink, nice drinking beer. Mouth feels medium to medium minus. Doesn't have that huge chewy New England thing or that big yeasty thing. It just uh, leans on that kind of crushable side. At 6.5%, this can be dangerous. You can probably get a few can through a few tall boys of this and be in trouble, or a bunch of tall boys of this and be in trouble. It's nice, Rel relatively clean. Sort of has these kind of again that. Anytime you say trillium, any reminders of that is a I would say generally a, a, a very decent, very good compliment. Uh, but it's a little bit different. Reminds me a little bit of threes as well somehow. Um, as for rating, it's clean, it's crisp, really nice drinking, pale ale. Uh, let's go with something like a 91 on this one. 91. That's delicious stuff. There you guys go. That's Ellison Dawn Street Pale Ale. Until next time, guys. Cheers. Thank you so much, Mike. Later.